Hi, Bexley Middle School students. We are super excited to welcome you back to a new school year. I want to tell you right up front, we have missed you a ton. We are so excited to get the new school year started. I'm Mr. Cottle, the middle school principal, and I'm joined by Ms. Armstrong, our assistant principal, to share some information that we think you're really going to want to know to start off the school year. So when will the school year start? The first day of school will be Monday, August 24th. You will start the day by logging into a Zoom meeting by 8.20 a.m. This information will be provided by August 21st. How are you going to get your supplies? We're not doing our normal supply pickup day like we do in the past where we take your pictures and you get your schedule and, and go around the building. We, we can't do all of that this year. So we do have some specific pickup times for you to come to the cafeteria and get your books and supplies to start the year. Um, if your parents ordered school supplies through the PTO or requested a Chromebook, that will all be here as well. You'll enter in through the main entrance, what we think of like the high school entrance, um, and someone will check you in there, and then you'll go across the cafeteria and be given your supplies, and then you'll exit back out the middle school main door. This should, this should just take you a couple minutes, um, and everyone needs to come for this. Everyone has something to pick up. Also, if you want an agenda book, you can purchase that at this time for $5, and we do highly encourage everyone to get one of those. So, how will you get your supplies? Make sure you take a look at the schedule by last name in order to know when to pick up your supplies here at the middle school. When you arrive, you must wear a mask, keep six feet of distance, and it should only take about five minutes. An adult or older sibling can come in the building with you to help carry your supplies. Anyone else can wait outside. Also a reminder that if you have any symptoms that day, do not come to the school. We will get your supplies to you at a later date. That is not a problem. So when will I get my schedule? We will notify you that your schedule is available in PowerSchool the week of August 17th. We are still working on them. So what will a day of distance learning look like? It's gonna look a lot like when you're in school. You're gonna be rotating through classes, which will be Zoom sessions. We'll start every morning with a 15 minute homeroom session, and then you'll go to each of your classes. There's a, a lunch break, and there will be time between classes and at the end of each class for you to take a break and step away from your screen. You are required to log into a Zoom meeting for each class and remain until dismissed by your teacher. You will need to have your camera on and participate appropriately. We know that this is all new and your teachers will help you learn how to use the different technology tools. How I get started? This is really all we need from you at this point. You're going to get an email to your school Gmail account by Friday, August 21st. that will have a link to your very first class on that Monday morning. A reminder that your student Gmail is first.last at student.bexley.us and that your password is capital B, and then your six digit student ID, and then what I would call the pound sign, which you guys would probably call the hashtag sign there at the end. You'll need to log into that Zoom meeting by 820 that first morning. The first week will be really focused on helping you with the technology, learning routines, and getting to know your teachers and classmates. We're not expecting you to show up with all the answers. We just need you to show up and we will help you go from there. So who do I contact if I can't log on? If you're unable to log into Zoom, contact distance-support at bexley.us. If you are unable to log into your Google for any reason, because you might be sick or having an appointment, have your parent contact your classroom teacher. So what is the deal with Zoom anyway? Well, we want to remind you of our three key um, words that we always use when we talk about uh, expectations at school, and that's respectful, responsible, and safety. First of all, when we're talking about being respectful, we're going to ask you to change your virtual background to a neutral image. That is a privacy issue, that is a safety issue, and it's also an equity issue. We want everybody just to have a background uh, that makes it seem very neutral. Uh, we're also going to ask you to keep your camera on at all times. That's how your teachers are going to be able to interact with you and know you're participating. Second, we're gonna ask you to be responsible. Find a space that you can make your learning zone. We know it's hard to learn and work from home. We've all experienced that this past year as well. 
but try to find a place that during the day you can uh, be free from distractions and work uh, on your schoolwork. Remember that all the Zoom classrooms are being recorded for the sole use of that class and available on Canvas. This is in case someone has technical difficulty or is uh, absent for some reason, they can go back and watch the class and get the information that they missed. That information, those videos are not to be shared with anybody outside of the class. And take care of all district issued materials, including the devices and textbooks. We've, we talked at the end of last year a little bit about one-to-one. -one. One to one means that each student will have a Chromebook and we're waiting for all of our Chromebooks to arrive. Uh, they, they haven't gotten here yet. So some students will be able to start off with Chromebooks uh, who need them and others are gonna be able to use their own personal devices. Uh, but once everyone, uh, the Chromebooks get here, everyone will be issued one. Uh, safety, not just, you know, safety isn't just when you're doing your learning, but while we're doing distance learning, please wear your mask and wash your hands often when you're interacting with others. This is how we get back to an in-person school situation. We know that that's what you want. I've, I've heard you, I've seen you guys on your bikes this summer yelling, we want to be back in school and we want that too. But that's going to take commitment by everybody in our school and in our community to uh, re reduce the level so that we can come back to school. And with that, let's have a great year.